Over here. Hey, there you are. Was looking for you back at the dockyards. Instead, I had to hang out with a bunch of engineers. They told me a whole convoy of new engineers got intercepted by the Empire. No survivors. Sounds like they had someone on the inside at Hosni and Prime. Give them all the details. As you can imagine, everyone at the dockyard is pretty spooked. I got a Pazak game planned for them later, to help boost morale. Gotta do our part, right? Say, between us, something's up. Something bigger than missing engineers. Ardo ain't talking, and the boss has been shut up in the briefing room all day. I feel like he'd tell us if it was just about the lost engineers. Nah, this is something else. My money's on some kind of unfinished business, like a dark secret he left behind when he skipped out on the Empire. Or not. <laughs> what would I know, huh? Whatever it is, it's gotta be something he can't fix with a giant battleship. Why don't you head up to the briefing room? The boss might open up to you. You're right, Lyndon. My contacts verified your suspicions. It's her. I knew it could only be Teresa Carroll. Her mark is all over these attacks. We know her style. You do realize there's only one reason she would attack Hosni and Prime in the engineering convoy. She's searching for Project Starhawk. That's why I've already taken steps to stop her. Before she can find the Nadiri dockyards. Before anyone else gets hurt. Lyndon. What have you done? Relax, Ardo. All I did was send Teresa a message. One she can't ignore. An old protege of mine, Teresa Carroll, is leading the Empire's search for Project Starhawk. She won't stop until it's destroyed. So I've initiated a plan. I sent a message that we know was intercepted by an Imperial listening post hidden near Esselus. What was the message? Bait for Teresa. And now that the Imperial Post has served its purpose, we're ready for part two. If we destroy that listening post, Teresa will think we have something to hide and follow that message to the letter. Vanguard, I want you to take Y-Wings with heavy ordnance to that post in Esselus and bomb it to oblivion. A Corvette will join you to draw Imperial fire. Gunny will support and resupply our bombers. These are your targets. We've identified the receivers along the hull as weaker areas. Destroy them all. Additionally, destroy the thermal regulation systems along the exterior trench and any dishes atop the listening post. If you pull this off, we'll rob the Empire of a valuable asset, and then Teresa will fall right into our trap. Teresa Carroll was my second in command at Fostar Haven. She was my protege. She's gone from a Coruscant street orphan to captaining her own Star Destroyer. The Empire gave her everything, and she'll do anything to defend it. That's why I'm keeping certain details quiet. With Teresa in the game, any leak is a risk. Just trust me a little longer. Head to the hangar. Zarelda should have your ship almost ready. I have to say, the Commander's plan is quite clever. All this secrecy and subterfuge, it's almost... Imperial. I know the New Republic strives to be better than the Empire, but... ...you must admit their tactics are effective. Not that we should adopt them, of course, but... ...this is war. Sometimes you have to think like your enemy in order to defeat them. We're lucky the Commander is using his tactical brilliance for our side. 
Let's focus on the mission. When Javes talks about Carol, you can feel it, right? He must have cared about her greatly to feel such pain. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empire sent Teresa after Javes. This feels personal. They must both be hurting. And hurt can so easily turn to hate. Hate that cannot be healed has no place in the galaxy. If fighting it has become the only option, so be it. Are you ready? Y-wings are built to carry bombs and other heavy explosives. It makes them slower, but they pack a punch against large targets and capital ships. Command personnel, intelligence reports have been updated. Check your data passes. Nice. Dropping on New Republic comms. Do you think Teresa Carroll overheard everything? She only cares about finding our Starhawk, Frisk. Oh, sure, sure. Still, you better bomb this listening post into oblivion, right? For the safety of our new battleship, and for no other reason. Temperance, this is Vanguard Squadron. We're closing in on the listening post now. Excellent. Upon arrival, you should be able to overhear some Imperial chatter. You can thank Ardo and his spy network later. Let's form up with our Corvette. It'll run interference during the strike. This listening post in the middle of nowhere. How'd the boss find this place again? He sent a message, specifically hoping the Empire would intercept it and reveal the outpost. They took the bait. Talk about a long shot. No way he could have known that would work. Unless the message he sent seemed so enticing the Empire had no choice but to intercept. What could be that enticing? That's the thing. Jays won't tell us. But it's a seed that will sprout into a trap. Let's focus on this mission and worry about the details of the trap later. just to help them find the Starhawk? This one, perhaps, but it isn't the last listening post eavesdropping on the galaxy. Well, they do seem hell-bent on finding us. 
I bet the Empire cannot stand that we're building a new ship out of their old ones. There's our listening post. I'll jam Imperial sensors on approach. I love it. They'll never see us coming. Let's make them regret eavesdropping on the New Republic, huh? And just like that, we're hidden from Imperial sensors. Follow me, Five. We'll lead the bombing run. Grace and I will take care of station defenses and starfighter patrols. Here we go. Five, give them everything you got. Good, you're almost there. On my mark, it's bombs away. Great work, Five. <laughs>
the Corvette again. Let's finish off these thermal regulators, all five. Squadron, our trap is set. Come on home. It's time for the next step. <laughs> 